All right, let's take a look at this great piece, Nothing Else Matters by Metallica, and the intro arranged here for ukulele using the low G tuning. And this is done in the key of A minor. Originally, uh, it's an E minor, uh, the way it was recorded by Metallica. And it's one of the more accessible pieces. It's very melodic, very beautiful intro, uh, and it's a lot of fun to play. It has some great use on the ukulele of a few movable three note chord uh, shapes that I have worked out here and some nice left and right hand technique using harmonics, hammer-ons and pull-offs, arpeggiation with the right hand. It can work with high G as well and you can just basically I'm only hitting the main notes. I hit the, the note A and you just hear that as an octave higher versus so just keeping that, that in mind, if you prefer playing the high G, this works great with high G as well. And you can basically play everything that I'll show you here uh, the same way. Okay, so we're going to start out just by doing a, a ascending and descending arpeggio over an A minor chord. And that's just the second fret of the fourth string, open strings above. But what we're going to do, we're going to play six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. That gives us six, eight time six eighth notes in the measure, and we're dividing those into groups of three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So this arpeggio pattern is perfect for getting introduced to that uh, rhythm. You can use your thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index, and the right hand going up and down. So that happens four times. I like to do a little crescendo, build some intensity, then get a little softer. Then this very famous melody that comes in 7th fret of the high string, and this is a note E, descending arpeggio. I move my thumb up to the 3rd string at this point, and I go middle, index, thumb. You could continue using ring, middle, and index in the top 3 if you like as well. But I'm in this case, I like to use middle, index, thumb. Then we're going to do a pull-off from the 7th fret to the open string. Now to do a pull-off, just play that 7th fret note. I'm using my 3rd finger and just pull it in towards your hand. Just bring your left hand finger into your hand. You'll notice it barely takes any effort to get a really nice strong note. That pull off comes in on the fourth of the six notes in the measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. I recommend just running that a bunch of times, trying to get, uh, get that smooth. Now from there, using the low G, you could just play the high G again, uh, if, or the high A string, uh, if you're not using the low G tuning, or you can grab this second fret again. You have to do this big, big, big jump. I like to go from my first finger, let it go, and then play index and middle together on the high string. I'm using thumb, thumb, and index and middle on the right hand. Once again, you can separate the fingers like if you want, like we did earlier. I just like the power of having the thumb there and index and middle on the top, two strings at this point. So go back from that second fret, open third string, then the top two strings together with index and middle. Now here's a tricky spot. We're gonna play this eighth fret, and we have to do a hammer on and pull off. You could use uh, one and two. 
I like to use my pinky and third finger. It's a good practice to get those two fingers working with a slur. Hammer on and pull off. Then you go to your first finger of the fifth fret. Play the second, seventh fret with your third finger. Write it all in that fifth position, which means the first finger is at the fifth fret. Five, seven, eight. Now here, we need to pull off from five to three. And I just move my third finger down two frets. So now my first finger is based at the third fret. I set that up and I do a pull off to the third fret. Then I play the open string. Now this measure, after we do, we have three counts of three notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that measure, instead of being a six eight, they call it nine eight. It's nine eighth notes. If I keep counting all the way up to nine, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. From there, we're gonna go into a D minor shape, and you only need two fingers, two and one. On the D in the third string, second fret, an F on the high string. It looks almost like a G7 chord for a second, and we're gonna do a pull off on the second fret B of the high string. Very much like this, same rhythm. Then back up, I'm using my thumb once again, then I walk up from the second string and then three notes in a row with the thumb in the right hand. And we're gonna play second fret, fourth fret, and then we're gonna set up this great three note chord that we're gonna use quite a bit. It's five, five, three. This is a nice way of playing an F chord and that's gonna move up two frets and we're gonna get a G chord. So playing finger style, we're not strumming, so we can only, we can play certain sets of strings and not worry about hitting that fourth string open. So when we do that, we're gonna do this pattern that goes one, two, and three, and. So you do uh, an eighth note, then you go the same note again, third string, second, first, second, and then do a pull off on the high string, three to zero, then back down, Second string, third. Let me play that measure for you a few times. F chord. Move that up two frets. Do the same idea for the first half. Thumb, thumb, index, middle, index. That pattern. And then this very cool lick. We're gonna do a hammer on and pull off zero to five to zero on the high string. Then a pull off on the second string, seven to zero and then a hammer on zero to five on that same string. This intro has some awesome left hand challenges, right? So getting that clean, coming out of this chord. So you wanna practice that a bunch of times, very slowly. At that point, I then play the high string open, back to an A minor, and I do a harmonic going up and down from the third string, second and first. Once again, I'm using thumb and next middle in the right hand. I reserve that for these three strings. So you can get that cool six, eight pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. It's like the very beginning, now it's up an octave higher. At that point, I transition back to open strings. The same pattern, we're playing one, three, two, one, two, three. Then it falls down to the original chord. And I switch back to thumb, index, middle, and ring in the right hand. This happens twice. Now there's this really cool leap that I worked out arranging this. the next part of the song. Basically what the progression here is, we're doing A minor, then G to F. And you're gonna hear this when the singing starts in the song too. We'll take a look at that in another lesson. You can just practice strumming that, get that in your ear. Then it goes to G, E7, A minor. That's the cycle that happens in the verse. Now in this intro, we, we kind of foreshadow that a little bit with these arpeggios. There's that G and F, the three note shapes, seven, seven, five, 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 seven. But just now we're descending instead of going up. And so I play the A minor and I play the fourth string then the second and I jump up nine, eight, seven, another voicing of A minor up higher. 
If you've ever played E minor, it's very, it's like that same shape. Move from second position up to the seventh fret, seventh position. And I use the open string to ring and keep sustain to set up this cool chord up high. Then I move down one, two, and three, four, five, and six. Thumb, thumb, index, middle. I go thumb, index, thumb, index, middle in the first part. And then back down. Sorry. That repeats three times, but the last time for variety, I do a reverse order here. I go third string, first, second, third, then the same thing down. Versus same sort of rhythm, one, two, and three. Then I play a G chord. You could just play, uh, I'm sorry, C chord here. And this is uh, based at third position, which is five, four, and then bar three. It's like your B flat chord up two frets. To E7, one, two, zero, two. Back to our A minor. Harmonic, lock chord, top three strings. At that point, the verse starts and you can uh, start strumming. This works great as a solo arrangement. I'll show you that in another lesson. We can get deeper into the song. So let's look one more time at doing the section after uh, the first intro that comes in with the pull-offs and we get into this arpeggiation. A minor, G, F. A minor, back down, G, Third time, we're going to reverse the G, the order of the arpeggio here. Switch to a C chord in third position, E7, then back to our original pattern. Harmonic. Okay, I'll play the whole thing one more time. Try play along, and let's go super slow. We're going to go under tempo so we can really feel each section. I'd, I'd practice this in small little increments, each couple measures until they feel good, and then chain it, put it together. So here we go. And one, four, five, six. Get a little bit louder here if you want. Then come back down. Pull off. Thumb, thumb, index and middle. These pull offs. Walk up to fifth, pull off, up. Harmonics, open strings, transitioning back to that second fret note low again. Try to make that real seamless and smooth. Then the new section. You can even strum this. The big chords, right? That works great. C to E7. Back to A minor. Block chord harmonic. I like to roll that and we'll end on A minor. Nothing Else Matters by Metallica on the ukulele and having great fun playing this piece. Of course, a lot of their other songs are so driving with the heavy distorted guitars, but this one really works. And it's great, actually, technique practice for a fingerstyle ukulele playing. So if you like this, check out some more of the lessons on the Ukulele Corner YouTube channel and also at ukulelecorner.com. There's a whole academy. You can take all kinds of lessons. And I do live sessions. We have a forum. I'm constantly adding new material, new lessons, new arrangements, and we have a lot of fun. So I hope to see you there.